Kirby, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And uh, just to let people know, we're actually in different locations, obviously. Uh, you're in Atlanta. I believe you're at your uh, your church space, uh, actually recording out of there. Yep. And um, I'm here in Nashville. And so through the, the marvel of technology, we're able to have this conversation while we're not supposed to be together. <laughs> but this is exciting. I, just getting to hear these new songs that are coming out uh, from house fires and man, there's just so much life in this recording and um, energy and I just love it so much. But this first song I'll talk about is lift you high and um, talk about this song a little bit. I think, um, you know, as I was listening through this, one of the things that was like really apparent to me is like this, this song is like loaded with scripture. 
you know it's just yeah. like even from the beginning you know it's like just starts off you know come let us sing the lord it's like psalm 95 his banner is love over us song of solomon his mercies are new every morning and, um which i love it's just all that scripture is flowing out of you guys as you're writing this but talk about the song a little bit um just some of the inspiration behind it when you're writing it well this was written at um maverick city camp um here in atlanta i think it was over a year ago that it was written um and it was myself jonathan j matt armstrong and dante bow and um we had already been worshiping that morning because we start all of our camps with some worship and um just really inspired by the goodness of god and the psalms and jay um opened up that scripture he actually had some he had an origin originated the idea he threw out an idea i don't remember which part of the song it was but um he threw it out there we had passed around ideas for a second and he started singing the first part i think come let us sing to the lord um yep that's what it was and we were all like this is it we're writing around this we were all very inspired by it instantly and got out the scripture read it and as many versions as we could and um then it went from there we all just kind of sang we most of us love to just worship for a couple minutes while and vibe on something and so we did that Ooh, there's my baby <laughs> Family um, right here <laughs> yeah uh, working from home so um yeah and we loved the course just the highness of god and we were debating lyrics forever on what is it what is he high in is he just we were high in our lives high in what and then we landed on high within our hearts high within our minds and we loved that because i mean so often our battle isn't between people or circumstances it's in ourselves and um if, the, if god can be the highest in our hearts and the highest in our minds then that reorients our perspective without changing any of our circumstances so it's almost like you can get through anything as long as i mean he's just going to change our minds you know and if he takes that first place then he sets the precedent of our perspective and so that's kind of the thought behind it and then man you get to that bridge of i won't let the rocks cry out in my place like because of his worthiness and because of his goodness and man this call to come and sing to the lord let us bow down before him we won't let anything stop us to pray in praise um so yeah i mean we were super stoked about the song it was like a year later that we decided to even do it on house fires and friends um, it was, I think it was the last song we added to House Fires and Friends, but it was the first one to be released because <laughs> um, we were so excited about it. Um, yeah. And that's what I love about the song. You know, it's like that first part of the song being so much about, you know, just encouraging worship and, and all that scripture. And then you're right when it gets to that bridge is like just a lift off and just this yep. declaration of, you know, I want the, the rocks cry out in my place. And, um, it's so powerful. And of course, we return the breath you gave with our praise. That's such a powerful line to me. Like he, he gave us that breath, so we're going to give it back. That's amazing. Well, Kirby, thanks so much for sharing the song with us. Yeah. And I know it's going to be a huge blessing for the church. Yeah, thanks. Hey guys, it's Kirby from House Fires. I'm going to show you the chord shapes for Lift You High. I'm going to be playing this in A on the keys. So the intro starts with six, four, one. You can do that little thing if you want, but it's called Lessing to Okay. 
going to keep that same progression for that turnaround. And for the chorus, we're going to do one over three to four. So we lift you again. Go to the one higher within our hearts and then to five higher within our minds. Five sus. Jesus, you alone are our cornerstone. I within our hearts. Four. I mean, one I within. Back to five. And then to the top again. Six. Starts with a two, two, one, five. So it's oh, I won't let the world hide out in my place. You do the five sus. guitar playing this part you could do da, before the bridge da, 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 you do this I like to do that play just keys or if I don't have a guitar player and then I can keep playing that if I want to over the bridge or I can just go to the basic chords so that's it for lift you high I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you play it at your churches tag me let us know so we lift you high.